What's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. As you can tell, I'm on my school bus. That's right. My baby. My baby. Well, the powers that be uh, have decided that uh, they need to give us drivers something to do. Um... So some of us are delivering food to homes, to, uh, to children, and some of us chose not to. I did it for two days, and I thought that it would be in my best interest to not do it anymore. Number one, we were doing upwards of three different routes, and it was taking us three and a half to four hours of driving time. That don't include me getting to the spot that I need to go and pick up the food, and then, and then getting back, and then unloading stuff. So it was a pretty long day doing that kind of stuff. And I didn't like being around all the different people. And, you know, we had a couple of people riding with us to help out with different things and and all that. So I only did that for a couple of days. And now they, they've uh, decided that those of us that don't want to do that need to do something at least a couple of days a week to continue earning our pay. Um, so they got us disinfecting buses. And uh, so that's what I've chosen to do. Is it any safer than doing what I was doing? I don't know. Probably not. <clears throat> but that's just a part of life, right? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to take you on a little journey. A little journey. Let's go on a journey. And today I have my bus I didn't know what bus I'd have but my boss told me uh, just go and uh, bring my bus home today so that's what I'm doing got my bus Sweeping is done. <coughs> Basically, we're supposed to take about three hours uh, anytime we do this. So, my, my boss knows that we're not going to take three hours to clean a bus. So, you got to kind of take your time with it. Stretch things out just a little bit and... And, uh, fudge a number here and there. That's just how it goes. Critical times, desperate times, desperate measures, all that good stuff. I keep seeing UPS go by and FedEx and USPS, all that good stuff. And I'm disappointed every time they don't stop here. I've been waiting on my TurboGrafx 16 Mini to show up. Uh, I've had it I've had it pre-ordered for a few months now. And uh well, we all know that Amazon is 
supposedly only shipping certain things and pushing stuff back to later dates and all that stuff, but I wish I could get it. It'd give me something to mess around with tonight and give me another little interesting uh, video to make, but I don't see it happening. So, I'm going to go grab a bottle of water. I'm still on the clock. Clock's still running. Took my time sweeping. <coughs> Looks pretty good. Those kids make a mess. No matter if you tell them, hey guys, put your garbage up here when you get off the bus. It don't matter what you tell them. You're not supposed to snack or drink or anything on the bus. They don't listen. Kids. I'm going to go get some water. <clears throat> so as I'm sitting here milking the clock a little bit. I made some chili uh, to have for today for lunch and supper. I've already had two little bowls. I love chili to death, but man, it gives me heartburn. Only chili that doesn't give me heartburn is Wendy's. That's it. Only chili I've ever had in my life that doesn't give me heartburn. And they happen to have the best chili I've ever had. So, <clears throat> well, let me see what I got here. We've got some glass cleaner. Foaming disinfectant spray. And I don't know. Disinfectant, deodorant, linen, clean, whatever. Sparsan Q. I don't know. It says it kills all kind of stuff, so yeah, it kills all kind of viruses, so there you go. And Good old fashioned paper towels there. Oh, of course, uh, I don't have to supply that. They supply that for us. So that's a good thing because I wouldn't do, uh, I wouldn't be supplying my own cleaning supplies. <laughs> we don't make enough money for that. And you'd be hard pressed to find any cleaning supplies. So there you go. Uh, before uh, before school let out and has never went back, they actually gave us a couple of those sprays uh, to do our bus. They told us to do it, you know, try and wipe it down every day. And uh, well, we only got a couple days in with that, and then we were out of school and haven't went back since. So, and to be to be honest. Uh, we're not scheduled to go back to school until like April 25th or April something, late April. I see us being out the rest of the school year. Um, that blows my mind. It's really hard to believe that, but uh, it's going to happen, guys. This is crazy. Whether it's overblown a little bit or it's straight up legit scary and, and a deadly out here or whatever the case may be. However you look at it, uh, take care of yourself and take care of everyone else because while you might not be too worried, someone else might be. So remember that, you know, we're not all the same and everybody's going to handle things differently and just try to be there for everyone and don't laugh and point fingers and act like a douchebag about it. Uh, be there for people because there are some pretty legit concerns and, uh, Lots of people are dying out there. So, 
let's try to be safe and respectful and hopefully we can all live to see another day I'm gonna start on some distance dis, disinfecting of the bus I may start right here with the cock pit of the bus the cock pit you like that word it's gross gross hate all this for you know some of the kids I hate it for the seniors especially you know this is a special time of year you know, I know there's a lot of seniors that don't give a crap but some of them out there do and they worked hard to get there and I got the Corona. I got the Corona, guys. So I pretty much got the cockpit all done here. So far I've been working just over an hour. Got the bus swept out. The cockpit area is all nice and clean. The windshield, the student mirrors, the side glass here, the panel. Look at that panel. look that good since it was new but I still have a lot of windows to go and I gotta wipe down the seats and the doors and quite a bit more to go I'm just taking my time like I said we need to get around three three hours uh, of work in two days a week so trying to make it take a little while looking pretty good though Let's continue. So, I just got done with the seats on the passenger side. Now I'm going to tackle the windows on the passenger side and get them done. And then we'll swap over to the driver's side. This is interesting. This is an amazing video. Probably the first of its kind on the internet appreciate this guys I'm original original oh, looks like we might get more rain we already had some yesterday or over the night or whenever it was of course that's nothing new for us we pretty much live under the water in Tennessee anymore so nothing new here well uh, well my water's all gone no water dang it I needed some water So I don't know if some of you know, which you probably don't, but 
something I've wanted to do for a long time is something kind of strange to a lot of people. But I'm that way. I wanted to do a video, uh, kind of a eulogy of my own for myself for when I die. And uh, the last couple of days, or I've tried doing it. Um, I've actually shot two, at least two different videos, my eulogy, and uh, I'm not happy with either one of them. I end up going into too much details and trying to say something about each and every person and my family and all that, and it just takes too much time, and, and I know it's kind of a strange uh, thing to some of you, but to me it's, I think it's great to do, thinking ahead, uh, to be able to say your last goodbyes to people. And what better time now than in this situation we're in where really you don't know. You know, anything can happen. Um, it's bad enough every day, day to day. Cancer, heart attack, stroke, uh, car accident, bicycle accidents, whatever the case may be. You know, you never know what's going to happen day to day. And now we got this to worry about. So, uh, it's something that's, that's uh, really been... Uh, playing in my mind and uh, and I'm not happy with what I've done I'm gonna try and reshoot again for the third time and see what I can get and uh, try to get something I'm happy with it's not easy whenever you're you know shooting your supposed last video and uh, and trying to come up with everything to say and doing it in a normal time and one of my, the first video I did was like 50 something minutes and the second one I did was just over an hour and that's too long. That's too long of a video. So I'm going to have to shorten it down. I'm going to have to condense everything and try and figure out what to say in more of a, a shorter time span. So anyway, I'm going to get started on those windows and get one step closer to being done with this let's do this guys well guys I'm done with my bus I know this is an odd video but just kinda wanted to keep you guys up to date with what's going on um, she sanitized as much as I'm gonna do it uh, and believe me, it's cleaner than I would have ever cleaned it before all this. So, and my wife came home a while ago, not feeling good. I don't think it's the old Corona, although it's a matter of time for we all get it. Uh, she's always got cold or allergies or something anymore she's always coughing and sneezing and sniffling and all kind of stuff so uh, now she's at home uh, what a time what a time guys and we thought 2019 was bad not so bad now is it <coughs> well heck I guess I'm going to get off this bus now. It didn't take me three hours, but like my boss told me, we may have to fudge our numbers a little bit. And if I wanted to detail the bus, it would take a lot longer than what it took me, but I'm not doing that. I'm not paid enough to do all that. We're underpaid. Big time. If you knew how much I made, uh, you'd probably pass out dead and I'm laughing so anyway I may go ahead and take my bus back up to the shop and get my other bus for tomorrow so guys strange video I know everyone be safe love you uh, check out my channel got all kind of videos for everybody uh, help support me spread the word share my videos most of all get up get out get rad do it to it even in a global pandemic, virus outbreak, Armageddon, apocalyptic.
crazed sickness that we're in right now. So, but smile while you're doing it. We'll see y'all later.